All right, my friends, we're going to do a fun experiment here. As you can see, I have my little Black & Decker uh, electric leaf blower that we're going to use to blow off the leaf that we just did that, to blow off the leaves. And I figured that might be kind of interesting to see what kind of load it uh, it takes or it uses on a, uh, on a simple outlet that we have. And so this is called a kilowatt. And we can go to voltage here. And as you can see, it's 120 volts, 121.5. That's fine. And right now we click on watts and no watt. Yeah, no watts are coming out of it so we got it plugged in here and we got now this is a 250 miles per hour engine i don't know uh, frankly what the horsepower is it's 10 amps 10 amps um 120 volts equals 1200 watts i guess that's a load uh so let's see so what we should see if we have 10 amps and 120 volts we should have 1200 watts i'm thinking but let's find out now it does have two speeds a low and a high It'll be interesting to see the difference there. So obviously, uh, you won't be able to hear me while I'm, uh, you know, got the thing on because it's pretty loud. But uh, let's give it a shot and see what we find. It'll be interesting. All right. So here we go. Seven hundred forty. That's all right. Now we're gonna turn on high. So there you have it, my friends, the uh, 1,200 watts. So the 10 amps is the max it's using on any time. 10 amps times uh, 120 volts, which is a standard US outlet, gives you 1,200 watts. That's exactly what happened there. So we know for a fact it's a uh, uh, 10 amps. Um, now, I get the question is, I think a horsepower is what? Seven, one horsepower is 750 watts so i guess is that i've just drawn a blank i'll talk i think it's one horsepower equals 750 watts so that's one horsepower at uh, the low speed because base is about 750 watts at the low speed which is one horsepower now a uh, a typical uh, gas propelled um a lawnmower is used about five to seven horsepower so basically that one little engine right there is about the fifth of a, a typical gas propelled uh lawnmower and that's pretty interesting so there you go these kilowatt things my friends are just awesome so what we'll do is we'll tell you not only how much how many watts is running on any given second but also tell you how many watts it ran over and tell you the amps tell you the volts and you know if we know if we know volts amps will know watts if we know watts and amps you can know volts all that uh, if you know two of those three things between watts amps amps and volts you'll know the other one uh, but also tell you how long you've been running it for, and so basically i used uh in terms of how many kilowatt hours you've been running it and i used it for four seconds so it's flashing right there four seconds and it'll say how many and, and i had to, i haven't used one kilowatt hour at all not even a fraction uh but let's say i ran that you know if i ran that thing uh 1200 watts for a full hour i would have used 1.2 kilowatt hours all right and so it'll tell you how many kilowatt hours you've used for any given time so if you want to get a gauge of how many kilowatt hours your fridge uses for instance you plug in your fridge up in that puppy and you plug that in the wall and then you let it run for a couple days and it'll give you an exact amount i'll say your fridge uses 750 watts a, you know a second essentially times that by 24 that's your kilowatt hours per day you've used you know over the course of four or five days um, you'll know exactly how many kilowatt hours your fridge uses and you can look at that when it comes to your energy efficiency is that something that's uh you know taking a big significance out of your utility bill or it's not that much i mean i don't know that'd be happy for you to decide relative to your overall utilities uh, but the interesting thing is if we're going to reduce our electricity capacity um, you know, you got to find ways that will be uh, more energy efficient, like I talked about LED light bulbs and whatnot. But the one thing is that right there, let's say I use that for five seconds. I mean, that, I, mean or, I mean, even let's see if I use that for 15 minutes at, we'll just say a high speed at 1200 watts a, a, a second, essentially. I mean, that'd be one, about one quarter of one kilowatt hour. Uh, that's just, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's going to cost three cents. I mean, it's just not a huge consumption of electricity. And this is what I think a lot of people missed the boat on when it comes to electricity consumption. 
Yeah, that is not gas propelled, so it is you know taking electricity off the grid. And you know the grid is being fed by coal, natural gas, nuclear, maybe even some photovoltaic. I doubt it, but anyway, it is taking a little bit off the grid. But I mean, at the end of the day, you're using one quarter of one kilowatt to you know use to clean up your your uh, patio here to get the lease off it. That's just not a significant consumption. It's just not relative to getting on an airplane all right so if you get on an airplane you're using 33 kilowatt hours uh a, a, a day for that one flight from here to london for instance um you know using one quarter of one kilowatt hour over the course of once a week even one kilowatt hour over the course of once a week from using that to blow off your leaves it's just such a small insignificant amount of electricity usage now again people are gonna say oh everything helps you know, not really i mean as long as you're flying you can stop using leaf blowers you know yeah it's probably not a bad idea to stop using it but it's just a dent in the overall not even a dent it's such a small minute amount the facts are you got to go after the big stuff and that's where you look at the fridge because it's constantly running your freezers even these are energy stars there's so much more uh, efficient and whatnot and just you know if you keep it on not quite as cold and i mean if you put some insulation around it it'll keep it cooler i mean just lots of different things you can do to avoid electric waste um, but at the end of the day using something like that even a fridge is nothing compared to the amount of just flying you know taking boats and all that stuff that i mean that's just a significant source of of a uh, of energy usage for sure and because of that you're you can feel good all day long that you don't have you know you don't you don't use a, a leaf blower electrical or gas but it's just it's such a small thing it's just not if you want the leaves off your freaking deck get the leaves off your freaking deck it's you're not saving the world by not using that that's just for sure all right well this is pretty interesting i love these little experiments and that's a kilowatt i'll link to it actually because I, I love this thing everyone should have one um, I have two, maybe a three of these guys. Um, I might cost all five bucks, but you can just, I just, you can play around this all day long. It's, it's actually fun. All right, see you next time. Thanks, guys.